Are you having trouble connecting to Winlink gateways? Well, today we're going to walk through a method that I use to find a good gateway to connect with. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. So recently I was out in the RV trying to find a Winlink gateway to connect to and it was outside of the normal time frame that I'm making a Winlink connection and I found myself unable to connect to my two favorite gateways. So I wanted to take just a couple of minutes today and walk you through the process that I use when I can't connect to a couple of my favorite gateways. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. I've got some uh, screenshots that I took during this process that'll walk us through everything you need to know and should help you be able to locate a good gateway that you can get into reliably. So two of my favorite gateways are K0SI and Kilo Bravo 5 Lima Zulu Kilo. Those are both roughly uh, 550 to 650 kilometers away from me. And as long as it's between roughly 9 a.m. local time until about sunset, I can get into one of those two gateways almost every single day. Very seldom do I have a failure getting into one of those during that period of the day. Now, after dark, 40 meters is going to go long, uh, and that changes the equation. But during the daytime, these are my two favorite gateways. So the other morning while we were out in the RV, I needed to make a connection to a gateway earlier in the day. It was about 6.15, maybe 6.20 in the morning. I did go ahead and try both of these, and I could not connect to either one of them. Once I figured out that neither one of those connections were going to be successful, I shut down Winlink and fired up JSA Call, and I just sent out a quick heartbeat. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to use JSA Call as a tool to view exactly what the propagation is at that particular moment. So, sending out a heartbeat and then looking at the responses basically paints a picture for us of what propagation is doing at that particular moment, which areas we're able to get into, and which areas we might want to search for a Winlink gateway. Once the responses for those heartbeats came in, I started looking at the grids over here and the signal to noise levels uh, in this column here. And I just chose Delta mic for the grid that I wanted to look in because I had a pretty good signal to noise uh, ratio right here. These other two were a little weak. Now, this would have worked just as well probably if I'd have chosen Echo November. And in hindsight, uh, that might have actually been the better choice, but that wasn't what I used uh, in this particular case. But I was seeing better signal-to-noise uh, ratios in Echo November than I was Delta Mike. Now, armed with that information out of JS8 Call, I went ahead and closed it down and went back into PAP Menu. Once I got into PAP Menu, I chose Find Winlink Gateways. And that brings you into this screen here. So I went ahead and gave it the grid that I wanted to search, which was Delta Mike, and the band that I wanted to search, and went ahead and performed that quick search. And that gave me this list of results. Now, I'm not looking for any particular station. What I was looking for here is distances. Now, I knew that 40 meters was still long being that early in the day for me locally. But I was looking right here. This distance is 1463 kilometers on down to about 1704 kilometers. And remember, this we're only searching the Delta Mike grid right now. So we could have other stations that are in that uh, range that maybe are in Echo November or even Echo Mike. So I was really just looking at distances. And these distances is what I based my next action on. So you'll see in a minute that I believe the, I, I chose 1450 as a minimum distance 
1750 as a maximum distance. Uh, so it's a little lower than this one and it's a little greater than this one. Uh, but that should give me a pretty good range when I use the PAT Auto Connect tool. So after I had finished that quick little search, I went back to the main screen of PAT Menu and this time I chose the PAT Auto Connect feature which brings me into this screen here. Again, I chose 40 meters because that's the band that I wanted to work with. And here is where I set those minimum and maximum distances that I wanted Pat Auto Connect to look at all of the gateways between those two distances and try to make a connection. And I went ahead and clicked on the start connection. And if I remember right, it was probably the second or third try of those stations when I did get a connection. Here's the connection that I actually made. It's a Kilo 5 Romeo Alpha Victor and that was in Echo Lima 16. Uh, but you can see that that distance here 1497 fell within the parameters that I was searching. So even though it wasn't in the Delta Mike grid square, the distance was still roughly the same and using Pat Auto Connect looked at all of the stations within my search parameters regardless of which grid square those stations happen to be located. Now I did sit there and watch that station, uh, the connection that I was making to it, and see if I was getting uh, more acts or more knacks. In this particular case, I was getting a lot of acknowledgement, so I know that it was a fairly stable connection to that gateway. So what I will do is I will now include this in my alias list for those times that 40 meters is longer than it is, uh, say, you know, 11 or 12 o'clock in the afternoon. One of the things that Pat, uh, Pat Menu and that Auto Connect will do for you, it will also load uh, any successful connections into the log or, or it will log those connections into the log that way it's quick and easy to see successful connections that you've made so you can see this one here was the one that i made the other day and that was at 6 36 in the morning local time when it made that connection so that's kind of a look at the method that I use when I'm not having success getting into some of the regular gateways that I would typically connect to. In this case, uh, those two stations, my two favorites, came right back into play later in the day once the 40 meter band shortened up. But because that 40 meter band had gone long overnight, I just wasn't having success. But now you know one of the tricks that I use when I'm not having success getting into one of those gateways. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3. JSA Call is a propagation tool. It's not a propagation tool. It's a tool we can use for propagation. All right, let's try that again.